the Sea of Okhotsk, one of the most biologically productive of the world's seas. Vasily Poyakov and Ivan Mosvetin were the first to explore the Sea of Okhotsk in 1640s. Politically, the Sea of Okhotsk is basically said to be in Russia, since the surrounding land on all corners of the sea is in parts of the Russian Federation, except for Hokkaido, which is an island belonging to Japan. The Sea of Okhotsk is the largest body of water in the Pacific Ocean, located off the coast of Japan and Russia. Most of the islands in the sea are uninhabited by human beings, thus making them ideal breeding sites for animals such as sea lions, seabirds, and seals, among others. It covers a total area of approximately 612,000 square miles and has a mean depth of 856 meters, while its maximum depth is 1,025 meters. The Sea of Okhotsk formed within the past 2 million years through the combined action of repeated glaciation. This refers to the surface being covered with glaciers or ice masses. During the winter months, it becomes difficult to sail across the Sea of Okhotsk due to ice formation, which causes an increase in the amount of freshwater, which leads to a fall in salt levels, thereby boosting the surface freezing point. In the 19th and early 20th centuries, Europeans and American whaling ships hunted in the Sea of Okhotsk. Bowhead and right whales were the most common whales they caught. As a result of the whaling during that time, there are several shipwrecks in the sea. It is estimated that there are approximately 3.5 billion tons of fuel in the shelf of Sea of Okhotsk. In 2011, a Russian oil drilling rig sank in the Sea of Okhotsk with 67 people aboard, but only 14 were rescued by an icebreaker and tugboat. The Sea of Okhotsk contains an immense diversity and wealth of marine life. Extensive spring and summer blooms of plankton anchor the food chain, which supports a $196 million fishing industry and nourishes the North Pacific right whale, one of the world's most endangered whales. The Sea of Okhotsk is unique due to its high natural productivity. Long-term temperature records have demonstrated cooling and warming conditions that result in changes in the populations of creatures that live in it. For example, warming in the 1980s resulted in an increase in fish population, while cooling in the 1990s led to a decrease. As heat-trapping emissions from the burning of oil, coal, and gas continue to grow, global ocean temperatures are predicted to continue increasing, and less oxygen-rich surface will mix into the ocean depths. Depending on future emissions, increased warming of the seas might lower their oxygen levels by 1 to 7 percent, globally by the end of the century. Under a mid-level scenario for heat-trapping emissions, sea ice in the Sea of Okhotsk is expected to shrink by about 40% by 2050. This shrinking is likely to limit the sinking of oxygenated waters into the ocean's interior, with potentially destructive effects on the region's unique ecosystems. Thank you for watching the video. For more interesting facts make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. Until then, peace out.